people call me on the daily, like, hey man, let me work that on, bro. You ain't got a license. You yeah. get that? And we could make it happen. You started learning how to cut hair because, like, you weren't gonna go pay $20 every week. It's like, cortate el pelo o que tu hermano te lo corte. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, your brother, or you had the one homie that hooked up everybody. Or the oldest brother that was like their gigs. Be, you could have been a year oh, in. Hey, everyone so learns at a different pace. Like, I don't have to give a date, but I mean, what was the worst haircut, haircut you've ever given? One of my boys, and man, I messed him up, dude. Bad. Trying to fade, trying to fade, and then like the back of his hair is just super dark. And his sides are super light. And so like yeah. the back, it kind of looks like a mullet. And I'm yeah. trying to do a mid fade. I tripped on my cord while I was like clipper in hand. And my clipper was on, which barbers, we should, if your clipper is not being used, turn it off. There'd be some interest there. All right. Shout out to Edgars. The Edgars. Oh, the Edgars are crazy. The million dollar question. Right? Everyone asked me. I was like. It's a family thing. Yeah. You know, I have clients. I have pictures. I gave them their first haircut. Mm -hmm. And they with... came back 11 years later. Yep. The boy's older, and I'm like, what? The only review I've had, and I felt like... ¿Qué tal, amigos? Bienvenidos a Spanglish. Este episodio va a ser en inglés y en español, porque esto se trata todo sobre barbershops, barbería, corte de pelos, y qué mejor para contarnos todo eso que cuatro expertos. Hoy nos acompaña Jorge Gandaría, Julián Álvarez, Yadi Esquivel y Eri Díaz. I've been cutting hair for 20 years. I started with four of my little nephews. Those are my guinea pigs. I started in my sister's basement in Inglewood. And ever since I loved the craft, you know, what got me into barbering was being, going to take my nephews to the barbershop, seeing my cousins cut hair, Eddie as well, he's a primo. I was young looking up to them and yeah, that's how I started. So I'm Julian, Julian Alvarez. Uh, I go by Juju the barber also. Go um, Juju. Juju on the uh, I've been cutting hair for about probably six years now. I started back when I was in high school. Uh, kind of got into it just by uh, just the learning program I had in my high school. I was like, I just want a, an easy grade. Like I was like, I'm going to go somewhere easy that I can get an easy grade. Thought, oh, barbershop, probably just going to sweep and stuff like that. But the guys actually ended up teaching me and everything. And then from there, it just kind of became a passion and nice, just bro. been doing it since. Nice. What school is that? I go to um, Skyview, Skyview. Oh, you were at Skyview? Yeah. I went to Skyview too, freshman, sophomore year. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. He nice. said, bar rings is easy. Yeah. 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 It looks easy. Yeah. 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 It looks easy. It looks no, easy. No, no. <laughs> you found out, you've, you're finding out different though, right? right. No, yeah, now, yeah. No, at first, at first it was for sure easy, easy. But now it's like, the deeper you get into it, like, the more abroad the whole thing is, you know, like. It's not just. It's haircut. not just cutting hair at the it's end of the day. It's not just haircut, yeah. yeah. Uh, I've been George, uh, Jorge Ganaria. Uh, I've been cutting hair about 20 years now. Uh, yeah, I started in the garage, started cutting my own hair with my brothers and, and my dad and friends and stuff. Uh, here we are. What was the first haircut you gave yourself? Uh, probably just, you know, four on top, medium fade, ah. you know. Nothing crazy, double zero. Tipo yeah, solo. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you tipo have to solo. start tipo short, solo. dude. Those are a little bit easier. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, some, some easy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Still, I'd be two hours in the garage, you know. Oh, yeah, trying definitely. To get that <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's tough. It's tough. And then back then, I'm sure it was just, they didn't have those mirrors they have now. Exactly. Yeah, I was sitting with a hand, one hand in this mirror, you know what I mean? Trying to trying to see in the other one. Yeah. Like sweating, yeah. sweating like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Like, like, I gotta go to school tomorrow. Yeah, bro. <laughs> What do you say about the mirrors? My mom's mirror, where I started cutting hair, had the, had the fold out. Oh, oh so you had yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She knew her son was going to be a barber, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you know, uh, so Eddie Diaz, um, owner of uh, Barba Denver, Eddie A. Barber on the ground, if anybody wants to find out. But um, uh, yeah, I, I started about 20 years ago when I was like 14 and um, cutting my little brothers up, all the little homies and on the porch, on the balcony and, and in the bathroom and just messing everybody up and cutting my own hair, remember? <laughs> Talk about the first haircuts. I, I, I mean, I look back at pictures and stuff. I used to rock like a two with the bangs. You guys remember the bangs? Oh, <laughs> that was a different. The that was a different. Yeah, the Fernando Vargas. I don't know. I mean. Skin face though. I remember we all, we all, all of our face. We did them with a the razor. We didn't have oh, like yeah, a. We didn't yeah. have no it shaver actually, back then. Yeah. Yeah. You had a razor. You had a big, and and, and it was crazy because now. Line or we, no? Or you were actually faded? No, 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 you're right here. We were faded out. Yeah, yeah, we were able to fade out. But the crazy thing is, like, like back then, I was using, we were using the same razor on everybody, bro. And, then, and, and as, <laughs> as licensed barbers now, we know that that's super unsanitary, bro. Hey, but none of us were messed up. So, yeah. I mean. Uh, uh, yeah. So, speaking of, uh, not not to put anyone on blast, but what is the most unhygienic thing you've seen at a barbershop? All of y'all. Like, 
And there's got to be some things. I've walked into some barbershops. I'm like, yo, this can't even yeah, be yeah, legal yeah. right now. But they be cutting some good hair. Yeah. They be yeah, cutting yeah. some good hair. Some of the best barbers, bro, that I've dealt with and I've known. I mean, I get, I get people call me on the daily. Like, hey, man, let me work there. on, bro, you ain't got a license. You yeah. get that and we could make it happen. But yeah, bro, um, you know. You know, disinfecting your clippers is really big. You know, uh, back then, obviously, we were wearing the same cape. You know, we need neck strips. Neck strips not only protect, you need to protect, you know, you're passing on. If one dude got like an irritation, some skin disease or uh, acne or whatever, you're passing it on to the next guy. And those are things, you know, that nobody thinks about. But, you know. And being a busy barber, it's easy to to start skipping some of that stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I'm bam, sure bam, like bam, the bam. homies back then when we started, they made sure because we were going to clown, you know? Exactly. Like, hey, mommy, what is this? Why is my my chair? Chair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, <laughs> being a barbershop owner, being a barber, right. it's hard. You see someone and it's like, hey, bro, you don't want to put them on the spot because you have so much clients waiting. You have your barbers right there. You don't want to embarrass them. You're going to be like, hey, bro, just let me tell you something. You know, I'm not going to be able to cut you. You have this. Yeah. But back like, then, I feel shout. like, yeah, the yeah. friends were not going to, you know, the friends are not even going to come yeah. like that to the house. So I feel like barbering school did teach a lot of. But that's the beauty of it. I think for a lot of people that like most barbers started cutting hair out of like necessity because it was like, yo, I, either I can't pay for a haircut or like I got to teach my own. So for most people, at least for most most brown people, I speak for myself, like you start learning how to cut hair because like. You weren't gonna go pay twenty dollars every week. It's like corta el pelo or que tu hermano te lo corte. You know what I mean? It's like yo, your brother, or you had the one homie that hooked up everybody, or the oldest brother that was like their gig. So I think it's always beautiful, especially for y'all that are that are to show y'all off that are y'all the other business owners that anyone that's like watching it is like okay, cool. There's brown people like me that same thing. You know, they're, they're cutting hair in the garage Absolutely. or in the bathroom go or la sala it. in la cocina, yeah. and then now they got their businesses. So. It's always cool. It's always, I, it's, it's always the same, right? Like all, almost 99% of the barbers like, yeah, I was just cutting my homies hair. And then. But I'm glad I didn't fall there. But I didn't fall there because I had long hair. So, yeah. you know, yeah. I just, that's, that's a different it was story. just a hobby. Yeah. Yeah. I picked up, you know, my but cuñado, still. you know, he would do a one and a ball fade. He used the oysters, the, you know, the ostrich. Uh, the old school. Oh, yeah, old school. Oh, school hungry or something. <laughs> I had the ostrich, you know, so he was like, hey, ayúdame acá atrás. And I'm like, all right. And I would like, y'all take my nephews. And I'm like, oh, man, like, it always catch my attention. And so and when he not, would have me helping him, yeah. I'm like, oh, shoot, I know and what I'm doing. And it's not till something like that, it catches your attention. You're like, oh, shit, yeah. this is yeah. kind of cool. You yeah. know, yeah. Fuck, I can maybe do this. What, uh, when y'all started, because I, I know, like, Everyone has a lot of experience, but I'm sure all of y'all have messed up. Oh, oh. Times, bro. What Way, each yeah. one of y'all, I want to hear each one of y'all, but what's 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 been your worst haircut you've given or like a horror story? Yada, I'll let you start. Like on like my first cut? They, they don't matter. It could be you could have been a year <laughs> oh, in. Hey, everyone has so a different pace. Like, I don't have to give a date, but I mean, what my first haircut, haircut you've ever was given? one of my boys, and man, I messed him up, dude. Bad. Yeah, like one line was this way, this one was a little <laughs> lower. I had a look, I'm like, all right, hold up, bro. Look straight, I'm gonna fix this, make sure it's straight, you know, whatever. But this dude, we're going to Illich's, that was our spot. Yeah. We're gonna go, yeah, and right. when I seen him after he got ready, I was like, hey, dude, wear a hat, please. <laughs> <laughs> like, you cannot <laughs> say I cut your hair. So <laughs> we would go, <laughs> you know, we'd go to Illich's, he put a hat on, he'd get on the right, I'm like, you have to take your hat off, but once you get off the right, put it back on. <laughs> that bad. You know, that bad. that bad. But, I mean. Did you re- redeem yourself, obviously? Yeah, Was yeah, it? for sure. And go. then, I mean, later on, you know, I started cutting hair once I started in the barbershop. Um, this was what, 2000, shoot, I want to say 12. Mm-hmm. I started out of, I started out of tax mm-hmm. and they were so busy. Had my first walk in, he was hot towel shaved. So I was happy. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, I got this. You know, yeah. that's all we learned in school. So yeah. he was my first client to come back. Yeah. Um, but then the third haircut that day was a low fade, dark. Yeah. And I'm like, it wasn't really a specialty. It got you. Uh, yeah, it got me. I was, it's definitely I was disappointed too. on myself. I was like, man, I took two hours. Homeboy was already. <laughs> yeah, you you feel like this shit. on you the chair. Like, 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 man, like, she's she's already ready. Ready. Yeah. 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 You know that? You already know. Like, oh, he's already, he's he ready to I'm go. Yeah. I didn't even want to give him the mirror, dude. You good. Ah, dude, but that was the hardest haircut I had ever done. But I mean, me learning, I was just doing high, like high, mid fades, short fades. Like you said, you would do a four. It was a little easy. Mm-hmm. And when I learned on my cuñado, it was a one on top. Mm-hmm. So I, Super it was short, crazy, easy, dude. Yeah. My nephews, I would yeah. do a three on top. 
but you you got to go through it. You have to go uh, through it to be able to yeah. to. So like you have to learn anything, right? Any haircut, it's in anything, any, anything, any haircut that walks yeah. in through that door, I should be able you to. You have do. to be able to, and I'm still learning, dude. Exactly. I'm still it's learning. Still learning game. I'm still learning. What about you, Julian? Worst haircut you've ever given? I think the worst haircut. I think it had to be on like my brother, because like <laughs> I used to mess him up though, like yeah. all the time. Like my brother, he. Uh, Thankfully, he doesn't really care too much like how his hair is. And he was like really big. Like when I started cutting like on the comb overs, like the hard part and everything. And so uh, he, I, I got my clippers, my first set of clippers and everything. I was just like, hey, let me cut your hair. Like, I got you. I was like, I got you. I got you. I was like, I'm like, have the video set up while I'm cutting hair and like falling <laughs> step by step. YouTube <laughs> University, <laughs> baby. Yeah. 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 We had YouTube certified. No, no. Yeah. Like, certified he's the youngest one. Yeah, yeah, so he's the yeah, youngest yeah. one. Sure, so sure. I was like, I was using what I could. So I was like, I had my video set up and everything. So I was just trying to go and I was like, like, why does it, like, it not look like that, bro? <laughs> and so then, uh, how old is your like, brother? My brother, he's two years older than me. So he's what, 24 now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I kind of was just like, all right, let me cut your hair. And uh, my brother's hair already is like, you know, different hair textures, you oh, know, yeah. like they're harder. He's yeah. already has like one of those tough hair textures. Damn. So I'm like I'm trying to fade, trying to fade. And then like the back of his hair is just super dark and his sides are super light. And so like Damn. the back, it kind of looks like a mullet and I'm Damn. trying to do a mid fade. And so, uh. Did he yeah. go, what he, what happens? It was just yeah, like now he's just sitting there for hours, like hour and a half, two hours, Jeez. and then time. I'm trying to do a lineup, and like I cut his head a little bit and everything. <laughs> I'm like, all right. He, that's when he was just like, all right, like you're good. Like I'm done. Like, he's like, I'm done with this haircut. Yeah, that's enough. But he's like, this haircut's over. Yeah. He told you when the haircut's over. No, yeah. At that point, he told me what time it like it. He's, he's like, like, I gotta go to yeah, bed. He's like, I gotta go to like, bed. School tomorrow. And so, uh, no. That's thankfully, after after time, you know, it just. Doing it, doing it, repeating until so finally it just and now he's bothering you for her. No, yeah, exactly. Now he. Exactly. What about you, George? Worst haircut you've ever given? Uh, I'd have to say, ah, damn, I have a couple. <laughs> <laughs> After doing it twenty years, you know. Yeah, 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 a couple haircuts yeah. to give some good haircuts. Mm -hmm. No, uh, the homie back in high school, Tim Martinez. Shout out to him. Uh, I fucked up his haircut so bad. You know, he went to the barber shop and he asked the barber. He's like, "Hey, what can you do here?" Even the barber said, "I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> no, it was that bad." But it, you know, I can't even remember. I was trying to do maybe just like a fade. You know what I mean? It just was one of those days. It didn't come out. But that one was pretty bad. I remember. Yeah, that's probably the worst one. Was it sure? What kind of fade was it? Probably just, you know, trying to do just like a regular zero. You know what I mean? Nothing even too bald. Short on top. Line short on top. But as a beginner, I think four or five. You yeah, know yeah. I mean? Nothing crazy. But like I said, just one of those days. <laughs> it didn't you can't get those lines out. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't happen. Who was looking like a yeah. highway when he went to. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, got a nanny strip. Homie's brother had a nanny oh, strip right did. here. Probably, bro. Swear, I'm like, I bought that fade up way too high up and yeah. everything. Yeah. And I'm just. Yeah, yeah like, yeah, like five haircuts in one. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, he yeah. did. Mm -hmm. I switched it from a low mid to high. Like, yeah, yeah. I told you about the whole like, haircut. It's too late yeah. to go. Mm -hmm. It's too late. What about you, Eddie? Where's that good you've <clears throat> ever given? So right now I'm like listening to you guys' stories, trying to think back, and I'm just remembering this one story, and 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 it could relate to it because you know Luis, Luis Rodriguez. Oh, shout my out to boy Luis. Luis, that's my boy. My boy Luis. Luis. So I was, uh, I was, I was, I was cutting Luis in my mom's bathroom. It was early on, you know, I was, I was in my mom's bathroom. My mom I was living over there, and I was cutting his hair, and. I tripped back, back then. We had corded clippers, right, guys? Yeah, you guys remember yeah, corded yeah, clippers? Yeah. With corded clippers, and I tripped on my cord while I was like clipper in hand, and my clipper was on. Which barbers, we should if your clipper is not being used, turn it off. Because if you, that happens, I jam Luis right on the side of the head, Ooh. and ball he, he balls yeah. ball right there, bro. He's like, you know, like no guard, no guard, bro. Yeah. And I'm like, bro. And he's like, I was like, ah, oh, well, pst, I'll give you a design, fool. <laughs> <laughs> That I can't remember one of my worst ones, and I was just like, "What do I do? What do I do?" And I was like, "I gave you a design." And Luis didn't want to get designs, bro. You guys know, you know. Yeah. You know, I was like, I, I think at the time he was like, he had some professional to do the next day. Maybe he had to go to work or something. And he's like, "Ah," oh. I remember. I remember I just ran off of it and and you know, made a design off of it. But I remember just being like so upset. I was like, "Man," I was like, and and later on I found out, you know, as barbers turn off your clippers, like it's like palming your shears. Uh, if you ain't using them, palm them because you know you, you never mess know. them up. Uh, you, you never can. Yeah. All right. Turn it back around. 
Worst haircut you ever gotten? Oh wow! Oh, oh, right. yeah. There's one thing. Worst thing you ever gotten? Yeah. 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 It's a bad haircut. <laughs> yeah. So I know you have some bad haircuts. We're gonna go this way now. You go. You so, go further. So growing up, like it wasn't just me being a barber. There was like there was probably like four or five out of my homies that all cut hair. And uh, you guys both know Paco. Shout out to my brother. So I cut it. He's we're, we're like. Hey, we're about to go out. We're probably going out. I don't know, bro, Express, Decades. I don't know. We're just Gee, one of the young things we used to do Express. back in the day, right? Y'all remember? So he's like, cut my hair. I cut his hair. He goes to cut my hair. And I, he was, I think he's just being a jerk. We were just laughing about it because I was just with him last week. But um, he grabs the clippers straight up, goes straight to the top. Bro, we started fighting, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 like, yeah. As soon as I felt the clipper do that, I turned around. I was like, bro, I just gave you, I just gave him a good haircut, and we started squabbling. But I remember that being one of a, one of those worst ones. I ended up like, like, I wasn't gonna say because back then I wasn't getting the best fades, but I remember giving myself like, like a super high and tight. High yeah, bro. They're like a military to fix cut. It. Like, nah. As a cuenta que traía un mohawk, bro, because it was like, you know, tenía lo que teníamos que hacer. That's funny. That's Made it work. George, worst haircut you've ever gotten? He's thinking hard. He's also gotten a, he's he don't given a lot of bad haircuts and he's also received a lot of bad haircuts. He don't want to shoot nobody down. He's, he's like, like, I don't want to shoot nobody down. Names. Uh, it it was, been your brother. It was probably. It was probably. <laughs> yeah, my dad did give me a pretty bad haircut. Uh, it was probably around the time I started cutting hair because of that reason. You know, mm. I said, fuck. Why am I going to get get this fucked up? And then I have to go home and fix it. You yeah. know. Uh, did you give your, you could, you gave yourself the worst haircut you could, or was it somebody else? Yeah, I guess it had to be me, man. Yeah. yeah. Same, I think George is just being nice. I don't you know, want to call him buddy. He's like, I'm my I really, don't. Don't. I really don't. And I don't know who the hell is going to watch this, but, but goddamn. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Julian? Worst haircut you've ever gotten? I mean, there's a few. I mean, my dad used to comb my hair and then yeah. like, yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, probably like, it would have either have to be like my dad or something like going like with just T outliners all the way around. Like, no, there is no, there is no fade, no nothing. Or like, um, probably when I started, um, I started with, uh, just one of my best friends. He still cuts hair, you know, shout out. Uh, his name's D blends, Daniel. D Daniel. What's it called? Uh, yeah, he, uh, probably him, me and him, we used to like practice on each other. And like, cool. we had, we had like our own, like, well, we had like the Walmart clippers, you know, just yeah, whatever yeah. you could use. And so we were like the color practicing on yeah. each other in his kitchen and he's cutting my hair and he's like, bro, I need this comb. Like I don't have a comb. And so I'm like, I look like a palm tree, you know, my <laughs> hair is like everywhere. And we, we go to Walmart with half haircuts. We both have half a haircut done at Walmart and uh, just to get a comb. And we're thinking, oh, that comb is going to save it. The comb is going to save it. He, I don't know what he did with the comb. I had like bald on one side and the other side like all along and I'm like bro good thing I just wear hats all the time looking yeah. like something from a Dr. Seuss book yeah. huh? the hat'll save you the hat'll <laughs> no, save the you hats. Oh. hey the get, hats, get, get those Spanglish hats <laughs> get those yeah. Spanglish yeah. hats save your life from a bad haircut out now guys daddy worst haircut you ever got I can't it. say again I cut my hair in, when I was 19 so a lot of bad haircuts I mean a lot of good ass barbers out there so I can't really say yeah. only myself when I was learning yeah about maybe, I want to say six years ago, five years ago, yeah. when I started cutting my hair in Mexico. Cause, um, yeah, no, I've never got a bad haircut out there. there I go. went to one barber after, but I cut my hair out there in Mexico. Cause you know, you had to. I was nervous. Everyone yeah. was like, oh, they're not good. I would see the kids walking around, people walking around and their hair was messed up. So I was like, my wow. God, <laughs> me try it. Yeah. And I tried it. And the hard part was my left side. It's more like a little dented right here. Yeah. So that was the left, that was the hardest part blending in. Always yeah. my left side. Yeah. Even to this point, I mean, I can still do it, but it's Takes always my left side. Tough. But again, I got a haircut, you know, when I was 19. So I had great barbers. Man. Again, my cousins, Zeddy. Yeah, you had a good, I, attack, you had a good team. You know, uh, Tech was the first one to cut my hair and he did all designs all over my head the first time I cut it. So the big it was crop fresh, you that. know what I mean? Uh, and then Josie, Puerto Rican on uh, Havana and 14th, he did my crocodile. So, I mean, I can't. You always got good haircuts. Yeah, You're always blessed. Always got good haircuts. Blessed. Yeah. 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 It's because no, it's one of those things like- It's been so long, you know? Getting like, a bad haircut. Maybe you know, when I was younger, yeah. like everyone's saying, my dad would cut my hair this, but I didn't cut my one hair until thing, I was 19. One of the pet peeves, I think that everyone has this, but like 
when barbers don't listen to like your clients. Right. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And I know that it's happened to all of us. Oh yeah. But one of my worst haircuts, quick story that I ever gotten. I was in LA. It was like a summer and uh shout out to my primo Silvestre. Me and him, we were gonna go on a, on a double date with him and his and his and his wife, Vanessa, mi comadre, saludos a ella. And uh, we were at the beach all day, all day. We're like on the sun. And then he's like, primo, we gotta leave like at a certain time because we gotta go get haircuts and then we gotta go wash the car and then we're gonna go pick up the girls. So I was like, yeah, for sure. So we're on, we're on the beach all day. Get tan, we, we, we get tan tan, right? I get dark. And then we have this, uh, we got a haircut appointment. So we leave the beach, go get a haircut. And I tell the barber like, yo, let me just get a, I was getting like Caesars back then. Like, let me get a Caesar and then a, a lineup. But I was like, keep my, keep my lineup, you know, low. Cause my hair was long. So este vato, like, you know, uh, the Caesar was clean, clean Caesar. But I was like, yo, just keep my lineup real low. So este way, my hair was obviously long. I hadn't gotten a haircut like in a few weeks. So este vato, like, he starts cutting my hair. He lines me up. Boom, boom. I can already feel like yeah, yeah. the T.I. Like, like, that hairline is getting high. And I was like, <laughs> near. I just feel like a little, a little slight breeze up here. I was like, what's going on? That's a nasty <laughs> feeling, man. No, so that's you turn your tear away so from the man. This. So I was like, boom. The man's like, all right, cool, cool, boom. I pay the man. Yeah, I don't, like, I, this is the barber I would always go to in, in L.A. So I trust him. I live up, boom, pay him. Get home, keep in mind, I'm about to go on a date. He like, didn't give you the mirror? First I know, day, no, like, I, I trusted him. It was like, it was good, right? But I was like, left the barbershop, went to go shower, and I'm about to go on this date with this, with this girl. Llego al baño, wey. Well, I had, I had my hairline. In the tan line. A tan oh, line. Oh, no. <laughs> and I was like, I literally looked like I had two hairlines. And I was like, oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> and then I went on a date. 30 minutes after that, and I'm the whole time, like the girl's kind of looking at me like, yo, this guy's I got a really hat, interesting dude, haircut. Hat. I was like, nah, I was like, I just owned it. I was like, it was what it was. Yeah. I should've just been like, I should've there just been like. There was no like, Beijing back then. Nah, it was bad. But it's one of those things that like barbers, future barbers, listen to your clients. Listen oh, to your clients. Because yeah, unless they're your regulars, then you kind of know that how their hair grows, you know, whatever. But if someone just, you can't just go off of trends. I know like barbers have this like, you know, symmetrical lines, but sometimes like people will be like, yo, I don't want to line up because my hair grows in too thick. Listen to that. Cause I know a lot of barbers, they be pushing those hairlines in too much. And I'm like, what are you doing? Right. Are you yeah, doing? And you have clients too. I have a client. He's like, I know it's pushing it back. Yadi, I know you don't like to do that, but just push it back, please. Cause I want mm-hmm. it sharp, sharp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know, their hairline could not be. Straight. We yeah. all want that. Yeah. Even when they you tell know? you though, like, go ahead and push, push it back. It you back feel and fucking I get weird. Nervous. Yes, I, I hate no, doing that. Yeah, bro. There's gonna be that peach fuzz. Yeah, yeah. You'll, yeah. See, yeah. you'll see that, that little green come out. Yeah. 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 By the end of the exactly. day, it's already there. Yeah. Yeah. That boy, man, he got uh, green, green, thick, thick hair. So when you even line him up, it's just gross. There's some interesting haircuts I'd be seeing nowadays. There'd be some interesting care. All right. Shout out to Edgars. The Edgars. Oh, the Edgars are crazy. The million dollar question. Right? Everyone asked me, I was like, why are haircuts so expensive nowadays? Man? That's what I That's what we want to know. Man. It's not to put y'all on blast, but y'all better defend, defend your prices. Because, everything because went everyone's up, like, yo, what, what should I ask these barbers? And they're like, ask when did haircuts, haircuts go up though? Exactly. When did haircuts go up? Exactly. After COVID, exactly. right? Exactly. Didn't exactly. everything go up? Yeah. Everything went up. How are we supposed to live? Exactly. We don't get paid hourly. Yeah. We can do five haircuts in a day and it's like, yeah. how are we supposed to live off of five haircuts for 20 bucks or 30 yeah. bucks? I, th- I think, uh, I think my answer to anybody that asked me that is, is, is simple. Like, and it's not, it's not a, a, a broad answer. Like we're talking about 20 años cada uno, you know, yeah, you're, you're yeah, a little younger, sure, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like we're, we're, we're in demand. Exactly. High demand. You don't have, I don't have time. So. What happens? I had to kick in my prices to open up yeah. time for people that right. are gonna spend the money. Yep, yep. That's 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 just me personally. Um, barbers are driving Benz. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we, just, we, just, we just wanted to kick off COVID right there. But it is, there's other things. But there is, other. I hear that because when there is a, there's a need, uh, there, there's always high demand, low yeah, supply. There's demand, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. supply. That's, and that's just it. Like in a, and like, and like for, for instance, like in my shop, like I, I, there's only a couple, sh- couple barbers. We have, we have 10 barbers in my shop. Tres de nosotros cobramos más que lo demás. Simón. No, porque somos mejor. Yeah. I'm, your experience. You're in your experience. We're in demand. And, 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 that's just, that. and that's just bottom line, bro. Like, I, I don't I don't necessarily have to be like, oh, I'm better than this guy. And to no, be honest, no, no, these no. guys are great, bro. This, yeah. This, yeah. Pero si, si voy a hacer, right now I'm about to kick it up again. 
I'm gonna kick it up again. And, and, and I've been telling everybody like, it's going to happen. Pero por qué? Porque man, we're, I mean, we, I mean, Yadi talk about this all the time. Like we could relate, like, like, bro, I go to the shop and do 20 haircuts in a day. And I'm not talking about just one day. I'm talking about five, five days yeah. a week. Six yeah. days a week. I, we're I in there at yeah. 6 a.m., bro. I, like, yeah. I don't know. And it just sucks because, okay, look, check this out. I have clients that come in at 6 a.m. to like 9 a.m. They're paying money. So oh, yeah. what's the difference about my 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. not paying the same? Why do you guys get the lower exactly. charges, you another, know? Another thing I want to say with that, like, and it is true, like, you're saying that other barbers, and I see barbers coming out of school charging this. This That's what's crazy, too. Yeah, no, so that you, far, you I, that, that, Become a barber. Fun, that's crazy. No, 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 Don't no, no, become no, a doctor. No. Don't become an uh, engineer. Become a barber. A lot, <laughs> a, lot, a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of dudes are seeing that. A lot of yeah. people, you know, but, yeah. I mean, they go into it, but it, it looks easy, but it ain't easy. Oh, no. You know what I mean? But it, but it's, it's like, it's like that's what I was saying. Like, with these new kids come out of school or, or, you know, new to the game in general, and they want to go and charge, you know, you know, 50, 60 bucks, whatever, yeah, like top, top dollar, right? Can't you can't do that. do that because what you think because now you're going to charge 50, 60 bucks, you could, you, you're, but you're sitting around all day. Yeah. Like you can't do that, bro. Drop your prices so you could be busy and make good money. Exactly. Build, 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 build your clientele. Yeah, build your clientele. Mm -hmm. Just talking about that. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. I have a barber, and you know he started at thirty bucks, and two years later he's killing the game. And it's like, hey, I had to tell him, hey, you're worth what well, we're worth, fifty, sixty bucks. Up Boost them up. Yeah, I know you're nervous. It, it is nervous. And you Boost will lose clients. And, and, you do. And, and, and yeah. it's true. I struggle with that. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I, uh, yeah, yeah. I had a, I, and I, I made this like whole post that actually, uh, shout out to uh, um, one of the dudes from CMB. I can't remember. Uh, mm. uh, one of the posts, I can't remember which CMB, one it was, but uh, Creative Minds, one of the dudes. It was in tune. Uh, it was, uh, it was, uh, uh, was uh, his brother? Diego? Diego, it was Diego. Diego, Diego posted yeah. it. He kicked up his prices and mm -hmm. I really appreciated what he said because he was like, you know, it's no hard feelings to anybody. The reason why I'm doing this is because my demand's high. You know, supply is low. I'm trying to like work less and make just about the same amount of money. Right. And he's, at the end of the day, that's, that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. You know so, what I mean? So, so people that want to ask, that's that question. That's what it is. And, and if you're going to a barber that's been in the game for two years, no vale eso. No, <laughs> no. Yeah. It's a break it too. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. barbers. <laughs> You, you got it. And that's my thing. I think that like for, for people that don't know the, the inside of the barber game, like I know it and I know you guys know it very well too, but it is that thing where people won't understand it, right? Like they're like, como a pagar 70 dollars por un corte. The thing, there's is a reality for men, at least. A haircut can really save a man's life. Oh, you, man. you come out of a barbershop as a new man. Exactly. It's yeah. a life changer. So it really, that, that's the beauty of a, a barbering. It, it's, it's an art. It's really an art. I don't care what you call it. It's an art. Like you're really literally transforming people's lives, yeah, yeah. their confidence. I've seen people that boom, come out of his yeah, chair sure. confident. Um, and, and it's a, it's, it's a crucial part for certain people, like for men, like whether it's like that first date, that job interview, oh, yeah, that uh, whatever, you're I mean, you're, you're like thinking, we're so. someone important in your life, you know, exactly. we sit here and so. hear you out and we're like therapists as well, you no, know, and, 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 and you have to be a great barber to listen, you know, like mm -hmm. you have to listen to your people. So I hear we, it. We build I, hear, a I hear the, I hear the, we, 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 we're built and we build a family. The high price point. I hear yeah. it. I hear it's valid. You I know, also want to add to that, that, uh, you know, these clippers ain't cheap. These yeah, shears oh, ain't cheap. No, yeah, it's, and it's more expensive. Cheaper, cheaper, though. Tell yeah, me let's, not. let's talk about that. That's, a, I, that's another topic. Dude, they're well, making them cheaper. But one, of the, one thing that I do want to touch on for future barbers, and, and it is because I want to inform people and, and, and for all the, all, the, all the young ones watching and listening that want to get into the game, give us a little breakdown obviously now of like what, what it costs to kind of do everything. I, just to get started. You don't have to go to your prices, but mm -hmm. to get started, like if you want to start Quiero cortar pelo to my homies or to the friends or wherever. Like, what do you? What are your basic five little tools? You know, break it down and and and, and give or take. How much does that cost? Mm -hmm. I'll give somebody? an example. My little sister's actually in cosmetology school right now at Emily Griffith, and and uh, she's uh she 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 was asking me the same questions. Like, the school obviously obviously supplies like they give you a kit. They don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y trae, trae máquinas que ocupas, pero yeah. normalmente las máquinas que te dan no no son las mejores, you know. Sure. So she came up to me. She's like, ¿Cuál es agarro? She's like, What do you? She, she came up with this kit. Uh, that that uh, Babyliss was sold and as a three piece kit, it's clipper, detailer, shaver, and it was a a, a deal. It, I bought the same kit. It cost, creo que 650. She got it for, it was like 
Three hundred and thirty bucks, some super deal, bro, which but is great. The school or she bought it on her own. On her own, oh, okay, and okay. it's like the custom FX the school, with the colors. Yeah. What is the school yeah. provider? The provides uh, the school provides masters, quarter masters. But I mean, yeah, they're dope. Yeah, they're dope. Yeah, they're yeah, dope. Yes, they're dope. Yeah. 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 And, to be, and to be honest, to be honest, when we started, you guys remember we had like I mean, quarter clip, quarter clippers. Uh, or I'm saying like. Uh, like he was talking about the the, the Walmart Walmart senior, color. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, that's when I started right there, school, <laughs> they gave me the seniors. I mean, they gave me the the Andes, the I trimmers. With the senior, they yeah. gave me the so Osters. For, you and know, for people but, that don't know because like you're going into turn and brands, but like. Your clippers are just your standard machina, right? Yeah, machina yeah, with the levers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The detail, uh, a detailer is like Freddie yeah, Lance. Yeah, the lineup. Like your beard and right. your mustache right. and the lineup right. with. So you need a, you need a clipper with a lever to blend. Yeah. You need a detailer. Yeah. And, and, and now you need a shaver because yeah. that, that just became a norm. Which is like the five star yeah. wall or... Right. Uh, Babilis. Andes. Uh, yeah, yeah, everybody they has all, one. They all have one. Neruckles. Neruckles. You just fuck with the So that bronze. Clipper. Bronze. Detailer. Shaver, you need a comb. You need a comb. comb. Two combs. Couple combs. Yeah. Couple combs. And, then combs, need, and then you need a combs. cape. <laughs> cape. You need uh, you need neck strips because like I said yeah. that's a, that's a necessity. And or less, yeah. you know, toilet yeah. paper. Toilet yeah, yeah. Paper. Yeah. paper works. We do that. Yeah. We do that. Yeah. 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 In a pinch. <laughs> yeah, because like for anyone that's watching, like see there's a morillo that you're like, oh man, I want to start cutting hair, like. Cuanto me va a salir? You can't go to Walmart. This is a thing like. So look, this is the thing you can though. Go we to started with Walmart clippers. Yeah. Exactly. Dude. That's what I'm saying. That were back then were $15 right. with the colored guards. Exactly. Like we all know them. We all know the walls as colored guards. Even if we're not worth that cape. Yeah. 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 That came up to like maybe and everything. your yeah. hips or something, you know? What's, what's but, crazy now that I'm seeing that like. The, but you can still start with that. Yeah. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. But everyone now is off trends. Oh no, I need that clipper. I need this. Don't go like you're like, I need the wireless nah no. you can start if off if you're gonna be a great barber any clipper is gonna work I'd and say the thing start is, with that Walmart and yeah. the biggest Walmart thing start with the quality, as in any matter. craft it's, it's your they skill set they even make set. it cordless now it's your yeah. skill set you gotta have you gotta build up your skill set before you you build up your your materials. It's like yeah, sports. Yeah, You're like, for sure. like, no te sirve yeah. tener the newest J's if you can't really ball. Exactly. Like, learn how to exactly. ball. <laughs> learn how to do these things and learn how to be a you great can't player. Even ball in J's. Exactly. <laughs> so learn how to be a good barber and then you could up, you know what I mean? So, and the crazy thing about Amazon, like, I was looking like yeah. Amazon, you great could deals. get some deals. Great deals. Like, yeah. 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 Amazon. Crazy yeah. deals. Crazy yeah. deals. Yeah. Crazy yeah. deals. Yeah. So, shout I mean, out to Amazon now. If, so if you want to get, so if there's someone that is going to start it off, what's like a good, budget or a price point and be like, okay, I need, what I need, a hundred bucks, 200 bucks. Well, maybe like, I want to I mean, say like maybe 250. Cause look, they even sell the pack now, the walls taper. Comes with the clipper and with the, and the trimmer. The trimmer. I, I was gonna say like two fifty to three hundred. Yeah, three hundred. Three hundred. Get a little summer job decent. and you can get you can buy get your first little next yeah. trip, just yeah. the strips instead of the box. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. That's sixty next trips. Get you a comb for like two bucks, you three figure. bucks. Yeah. Two ninety nine. You're cutting five heads, you five, five of your homies' head for twenty. Unless you, I don't know yeah, what you yeah, can charge. Yeah, yeah. You don't make that money back. You don't make that money back in a weekend. You can charge on the skill. You don't make it back in a weekend. Okay. Inside your phone. So, any any other advice you would have for young barbers, like getting started off? That you that any mistake y'all made that you're like, man, I wish somebody would have been like disinfectant. Disinfectant. Yes, for sure. That's the main thing. Hygiene. Hygiene. Hygiene, 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 hygiene for hygiene. sure. Hygiene. Hygiene. Sanitation, disinfecting, and cleaning. I think every time I've done a class, bro, siempre les digo a los morros, like, like, you could be the best barber. Puede ser chingón, puede ser todo. Pero si no sabes tratar a la gente, bro, nunca. Oh, yeah. Customer service. We're talking about that. Customer service is A1, service. bro. Like, 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 you could be a mediocre barber, pero si sabes tratar a la gente, sabes comunicar. Uh, I learned early, early on in, in, in my career that you, you, you use mirroring mm -hmm. whoever you're having the chair puede ser puede ser un un, un vato que trabaja en la construcción o puede ser un cook o puede ser un vato que yeah. trabaja en una oficina oh, life, el yeah. que sea trata de uh, to yeah, find really? a common ground something really? que puedas puedas platicar y la gente güey like va, va, va al shop mm -hmm. para una experiencia yeah, yeah. en veces no van por Just el puro corte that. and sometimes it could be not the best haircut yeah. but yeah. if you treat them right they will come, come back. back. Yeah, yeah. a they lot of time, back. I feel like it's all about the customer service. Absolutely, you know, it's yeah. not a, like you could still give a good haircut, but if that client is just sitting there quiet the whole time, a lot of the time they're gonna go with somebody that can give the, just as good as a haircut yeah. and it's gonna make them laugh the yeah. whole time yeah. or whatever. Yeah, you know? yeah make them feel sure. good. Yeah, in that yeah exactly. That's what it's Again, about. Again, you you build. It's a family thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I have clients. I have pictures. I gave them their first haircut, mm -hmm. and, and they came back eleven years later. Yep. 
the boy's older and I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. Like, it's crazy. I gave you your first haircut. You're 11 years old. I gave them, you know, they're probably like five years old and now they're in high school. I have a few of those. A yeah. lot of, I met yeah. them and, and it's that's like, that's built off a bond. It's yeah, not so for much sure. a haircut. It's a bond you know I mean? and they it's see like, me out yeah. and it's like, oh, Yachty. And they look up to me and it's like, okay, I got to mm -hmm. do, be doing something good. I can't be messing up. You got to hold yourself right. to your word, you know? So hygiene, customer service. What else? What else would you say is a big, like a must learning uh, your crafts. Yeah. Just, just sticking with it, man. Honing, honing the skill, yeah. you know, I feel like just kind of keep pushing it and keep like, you know, keep going. Cause I feel like in the beginning, I feel like it's really easy to get discouraged yeah. and everything mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. because like you're seeing the cuts not come out. Yeah. Like you're oh, yeah. seeing them, yeah. you're seeing those hard lines all the time. So I feel like just kind of staying focused and being like, you know, every, every barber went through this. Everybody that learning how to cut hair dealt with this keep going because if you're it's so easy to just be like ah it's not for me i'm done you know yeah uh, another oh, thing yeah. i think like a lot of a lot of people i think like kind of in in tratando de compararse con otro, otro barber mm -hmm. or trying to be something like that you um, can't do that yeah. No, yeah don't don't compare yourself to anybody you, you you'll develop your own style you'll develop your own way to cutting i think each one of us could say that you've worked with plenty of barbers that everybody cuts different mm -hmm. and and oh, you yeah. gotta you gotta take that you you have your own style grab it master it repetition is the father of learning once you get that mastered you get it bro ever eventually you're doing haircuts do that thing? used to take me an hour and mm -hmm. like i could do those haircuts in mm -hmm. 15 minutes right 30 minutes and that's another thing people could be like clients ask oh you take 30 minutes on a haircut Dude, I've been cutting hair for 20 years. <laughs> I hope it's not taking me an hour. <laughs> it shouldn't be like, taking I broke me it down to that. Yeah. Yeah. And you still get a good haircut. You still get a co good conversation. Yeah. You still leave happy. You come back. I, I mean, think one thing that I that I learned was uh, to challenge yourself. To try those cuts that you're afraid to try. Oh, yeah, definitely. You gotta diversify because yeah, one so, of the yeah. biggest things like- You can't say no for to haircut. Exactly. For barbers, I think, I don't know so much now, but the, the not everyone's gonna get a fade. So you oh, gotta yeah, step man. out of that comfort zone. You gotta use your cheers. Cut, <laughs> cut long hair. You know what I mean? Right. Like now I got long Learn hair, but use before cheers, it was phase, But now it's like now, like if you don't know how to cut with scissors, like I can't really, I can't go sit in your chair. So don't miss out on opportunities because you know what I mean. You gotta, you gotta take yourself. that step, challenge yourself, learn how to cut the long hair, learn how to use the scissors, learn how to do these things because you're just expanding your skill set. The more skills you have, then you could charge. The hundred bucks, then you could charge. And usually, lo, 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 los que están pagando cien dólares son los que you know you get businessmen that yeah. they, they 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 want like a like a four six yeah. on the yeah. sides yeah. and they want a sheer cut, just a nice clean sheer cut. Simple. And those they are the dudes. The you know, yeah, they're, 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 they're not they're, they're, they're not they're gonna go in there and ask you for a, for a razor fade. They're not gonna go in there for your design. So so I get it. Like you know, you, we, like we're talking about trends. A lot of his trends is cool, it's popping. But you gotta understand the businessman is not gonna want a razor fade. Yeah. And you're gonna miss out on a great tip, great opportunity, a great client because you're just like, oh, I don't do that haircut. So, so conversation yeah. is number one key. Conversation. Yeah. Consultation. Please come, yep. Yeah. yeah. Consultation. Consultation. You Please got ask. Yeah. What um all right, so customer pet peeves, barber pet peeves, no calls, no shows. Oh my god, I hate him. <laughs> That's probably like, one of the yeah. worst fucking things I think. Yeah, I hate and him. It, it, with any barber. Disrespectful. It man. happens. I think in every job. And I'm trying to be shit, better. You know? Like I it was always, oh man, this guy didn't freaking show up, and I'm mad, dude. But lately, I've been trying to. Just calm down because they still get charged. Yeah. They get charged the full haircut now. Yeah. Yeah. Charge them but now. it sucks yeah. because it just kills your routine. Yeah. Yeah. Like both. again, we're 30 minutes. It's like, let's go next, next, yeah. next. And I can't talk so about it on any of my clients. Down. They're all pretty good. I'm sorry. Uh, but when it does happen, it sucks. Yeah. You know so when I mean? you sit down and you're, you just have 30 minutes, it's like, okay, I could either go out my early morning at 5 a.m. I could have got them at 1230 or I could have asked my 630 to come at 1230. Yeah. So it just, yeah. it's, it's just, just a respect thing. I, you know know yeah. yeah. I, I think it's a respect thing. And yeah. I think it's it happens, respectful. right? Like life happens, you know it's what I mean? Emergencies come up. Exactly. But it, the, the best thing you could do is just the biggest thing is always respect people's time in any profession, right? Exactly. Like, and especially with your barbers, like you gotta understand, like, like you just said, Yadi, it's back to back to back to back. So they're, they're, they're real, real, real diligent about their, their time slots and those things because not only could they got another haircut, they can be like, yo, I could have picked up my son, my daughter, yeah, yeah. X, Y, and Z. I had all these things I to do. I time for lunch. I made Whatever. this day. Exactly. Yeah, you know? Cause I don't yeah. take lunch. So I don't even know what lunch I mean. What, uh, 
Have you ever had anyone just no call, no show up and just show up like nothing? Just like, like, oh my God, whatever. Yeah, like they were like, oh, the, next, the next time they're like, yo, what up? You're like, yeah. I mean, they're like, like, is like, it okay? I'm almost there. Out? I'm 25 minutes late and it's like, bro, you're giving me five minutes to get you here. Uh, you're like, yeah, I got happened. one person that gave me a bad review, you know, uh, and he was late and he knows. I opened up my schedule early for him. It was like a 7 a.m. I tell them, yeah. I'll cut your hair, but you're not getting a lineup yeah. on the beard. I don't have I'm time sorry, for, I don't yeah. have time because it yeah. takes yeah. another 15 minutes. Yeah. You're losing all the extras. So <laughs> I'll give you a haircut, but no lineup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All my barbers would laugh like, damn, yada, you're for real. Like you tell them Punctual. Yeah. you're not giving yeah. them a lineup. Yeah. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'll give you a haircut, but yeah. no lineup. But that's also part of respecting your next customer. But like, look, I'm there. still giving you a haircut. There, and, if, and this is the thing. If you sat in, 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 in the lobby or the waiting room, like it's because of that. Like somebody else is, it's not that I don't, I can't line you up because I don't want to like, this person was on, on time. How do you know he don't have a flight I'm, I'm to catch? Exactly. How do you know he don't have to go to work? How do you know he does not have something to exactly. do after? Respect so your I time, literally told him, like, I'll time. get you, you know what I mean? yeah. but That's there's valid. just no That's lineup. We just got to tell people. So they, they, tell uh, people. he got mad and he left. So then he texts me, oh, you still have time to text me? Well, sir, I had you right now at this time. Yeah, so I have left, time to yeah. reply to you <laughs> and apologize yeah. and let you know why. So he was mad and he left me a bad review. Only review I've had. And I felt like yeah. <laughs> I was mad. Yeah. I was pissed. Was like my yeah. Nobody leaves me a bad review. But it's like, okay, you know what? It's one time. Pero tienes que pensar que you can't make them all happy. And that's, that's another exactly. thing. Yeah. You can't be everybody's you know barber. I mean? Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's okay. I mean, but it took me a while. But now I'm just trying to calm myself down again. You, with you the ever no had shows. someone go in and, and ask you what you would think is a bad haircut. Has anyone ever asked you for a haircut and you're like, see, sí. yeah. and, and like in my case, I'm gonna say this, uh, llega, I llega gente que they want a, a certain haircut and I'm like, bro, I, 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 I'm not gonna do that to you because first of all, you're gonna go tell everybody you got that from me. <laughs> yeah. Yes, <laughs> yo. That's not gonna look good on me, but you know, you, it's como, no sé, this is a silly, you know, I'm a paying customer, so I, I should get what I want, right? Yeah, customer gets but, the but, but, but it's crazy in the barbershop. You're a professional. <laughs> this, this one of the professions, that, and tattooing, I feel like those people are like, nah, I don't, I don't do that I'm not going to take yeah. my name, just, yeah. I, can't yeah. Do it, I happened to meet one time that with this customer that, like, it came in and had, like, long hair on the top, and they're like, yo, I want, like, a razor on the side. Oh, they're like, cool, razor, right? And I start blending it, obviously, right? You blend it in. And he, I get done and he was like, what is this? But he actually wanted a hard line. Yeah. He wanted a oh, hard yeah. line. Those this is what I'm talking about. Listening too. to, and to me, yes. if I would have known ahead of time, yes. this is way back in the day. Would I, would, way back. I would have less time. Yeah, I would have done less time. I Easy. probably wouldn't have done yeah, it. I probably would have been around. like, I'm not going to let you walk here with a hard line. But the man wanted a hard line. Get boca. He, he wanted yeah. a boca. He wanted a boca. And I was like, again, one of those few times that I, like way back and I was like, man, like this customer was, mad because I gave him a good haircut because it was a good haircut but he wanted a hard line a good so, haircut in your eyes exactly and that's yeah. what I mean that's yeah. the importance of listening to your customer yeah. don't not you remember those, wants to those, fade. those haircuts with the line that goes all right. around right. The, line the double line all the way to the beard I mean that's what they like there's so many trends that like right. and again it, it's, and that was back yeah. in the day yeah. I have my nephew shout out to Joe but Joe wanted a bow cut yep He's like, I want this. And I'm like, are you sure? Like, like you want that? Good. And all my barbers in the Those shop were like, that's yeah. how he's walking out, no blend. I'm like, yeah. he wants a bow cut. He's a model, you know, he rocks so many different haircuts. But nowadays you see that. It's yeah. cool. Ask yeah. Eddie, yeah, I walk around with Europe. different yeah, haircuts. Yeah, Europe. Yeah, yeah, and and I like them, I don't mind yeah. rocking some. They look cool, they look yeah. cool. Now I see them, I like, some of them look really good, but. Yeah, you had you had a fresh one. I had one, but I made it look fresh. Oh. On Alvien, you know what I mean? Hold yeah. up, because on Alvien, yeah. I do like a taper right here, then I do the line, like a design, leave the hard line, and then do a fade. Fade on one side, so, hard I mean, line it's, there. there's ways it's you can make it look yeah. nice, but back then it's just like a bokeh. I'm like, I don't know, bro, let me throw a little yeah. something. I can make this he's look like, a lot no. better. <laughs> yeah, but he's just like, I just want a bokeh. Cool. One, another thing for uh, for, cust for clients and customers to listen to, uh, talk about hygiene, because I know a lot of people Mm. Go in there. Oh my God. From the gym. Yeah. Like, like, tell people, like, it's obviously common courtesy <laughs> yeah, to, yeah, to shower. Like, have, you, have you ever had cases of, uh, or even like head lice? What, have you guys ever had that happen? Like a head um, lice? Or I, a, I had a, I had a, a situation where we were, we were doing an event where we were doing free haircuts for kids, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I, when we do those events, I haven't done them in a while, but we, we used to like, I used to hit up all my homies that are barbers and be like, hey guys, we're going to do this event. I think Who I wants did to come one through? With you one time, yeah. We had, we had like, 
we had like, oh, you were the one we did at Lake, yeah, uh, yeah. Horseman. At Lake, or Lake, no, Lake, 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 that's right. Lake. Yeah, that's yeah, like, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, 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 maybe a couple years before that, we did one at Horseman, bro. I didn't want to shout out the mm-hmm. scoop or whatever. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't even them, bro. Um, <laughs> <situation>. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but th- this particular situation happened. We had, teníamos un chingo de morritos, güey. Éramos como 10, 11 de barbers. Y teníamos a muchos morritos, muchos hombres. And there was... Uh, the little sisters came with them, right? Yeah. It was a Sunday. Even in which little sisters and, and, and my homie was, who was the principal of the school. He came with me. He was like, Eddie, he's like, vinieron niños, pero también vinieron hermanitas. Is there any chance? Cause you guys have some stylists here too. That you guys get a couple of these girls into. So we're like, fine. Yeah. So I remember my cuñada, shout out Sierra. So she, uh, she sat down and started doing one of the cuts. She started parting the niña's hair. Le empezó a partir el pelo para, para hacer a section. So she cut him and the little girl was infested oh. and it was bad. And she, she, she oh. was like, yo, Eddie, she's like, I can't do this cut. And I was like, what's going on? She's like, this little girl's like, like, like really going through it. And, and, and it's messed up, bro. Cause she's like, oh, we're going to the hood to help yeah, all these kids yeah. out. And we want to help right, these kids out yeah. to, to deny it. It was, it was, it was really hard, was but you so, have to turn it down. But we had That's to turn it down. You have yeah. to turn and then for, she, for the well being of everyone. Right. Yeah. And so what happens is in that situation, you guys know we had to trash everything. Yeah. yeah. Everything that she used at that moment, capes, you know, everything has to go to the trash combs. Everything's trashed, you know, and, and it, and it sucks, but that happened. That's the, that's the one time that I saw it happen. And, uh, kids. yeah, that's with kids. the kids yeah. and, and it was, you know, it was a, they, they came from a rough family, you know, yeah. drugs and all that stuff. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that, and then you talking about hygiene, like, de repente, I get some, some, some stinky ones, bro. <laughs> no, no, like yeah. breast stinking, but some, yeah. sometimes like, Body either, either, either you, you yeah. I don't think they came from the gym. We just got up out of your, out of bed and you came to the shop but and it's fine. No, that's exactly with the bread. Like you're waking up, bro. Like first your grill. Yeah. Like, no. That's the first thing I do. I mean, I, of course I shower, but if you don't want to shower cause you're coming to get a haircut, I understand. I'm going to wake up, go get a haircut, then come back, get ready, go to work, whatever. But bro, just brush your grill. Like if we're having a conversation, so sometimes I won't even entertain the conversation. Yeah. And, and you I get a little worse And then with COVID, dude, we had a mask and you can still smell yeah. it. Like, yeah. That's what you know. It's really You're bad. like, who's on DJ? Turn up the song. Turn up the song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, I'd rather turn up the music. Oh, I'm going to talk over here. Act like my phone's ringing. What like, about some of y'all? Because a lot of this, a lot of this platica was, was obviously to talk about like you guys is start beginnings. Julian, you're still starting and everything, but a lot of it is to show y'all off because it is to, to show off our people um, doing things, becoming business owner. Um, and it, it's just to that, like it's to, to show that people from our neighborhoods that look like us, that talk like us, you know, there there is different ways to make money. There's different ways to become successful. So I, I want to applaud all y'all because, you know, you guys, Shout out to you guys started, 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 Thank started you guys. literally started from the bottom and, and now you guys own businesses. And, and you don't live off of this. And then that's the thing for, for some of the kids that are watching is like, yo, like, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't have to do this. You know what I mean? I could be my own boss, you know, do, do this, cut hair, follow my passion. Mm-hmm. And then that's like the next step up. And it's, and, and it's to challenge brothers like Julian to be like, all right, cool. Like I, I work for someone because I, everyone, everyone here worked for someone, you know, you oh, work, yeah. you definitely work, you rented a chair, you, you work for person. someone, yeah. but the next step is to be like, okay, cool. And I feel I'm like when you shop. work for someone, I mean, if they hold it down, like I was comfortable where I was working, mm-hmm. some things went down, you know, he sold it, but I was like, I would have still been with him. I was so mm-hmm. comfortable. Mm-hmm. It was like my second home, right. you know, mm-hmm. get up from home, you go to work. So just, you were kind of forced into the entrepreneurship. I but, was, yeah. just because he sold the shop. Right. But I was comfortable, dude. Right. It was mm-hmm. dope zone. We were busy. And then he sold it. So it was like a blessing in disguise. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, I always had goals. My goals was to get my shop maybe 27, 30. Yeah. I got it at 24. Um, it happened so fast, but it was for a reason. I was stressing. It's not going to go down. You know, I was coming across problems when we started demolishing, but yeah. I'm glad I took that big step. Yeah. What about y'all? Because both of y'all, I know, kind of same thing, different scenarios. Yeah. Same scenario. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, uh, I, I definitely started building. Like I knew, I knew at some point. Well, for me, it was like, like a lot of, a lot of young barbers that are starting or do like, yeah, you're, you're gonna get to a point where you're like, you might get good, you might get busy, and you're gonna be like, yeah, what do I need to go to school for? What do I need a license for? Yeah. And you're like, I don't need it, pero no se abrieron las puertas hasta que. I decided to take, take, take that, yeah. take that leap and get my license. And after that, a lot of things changed. You, you not only, not doors only did things up. change, doors opened up, but I valued it so much more. You, you invested the time, you invested the money, the sacrifice to, to drive to school. To, for me, I was already working in a shop. So I was like splitting it off. And gotcha. I, I think, I think uh, a, a lot of people, they get comfortable and I have a lot of homies like that, really good barbers and they're just never going to get licensed because they just don't feel like they need to. But in my perspective, and I'm, you guys could agree, but getting my license was the best thing I ever did. 
If you want to so, open them doors, yeah. that's the best thing you can do is go get yeah. your license. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. that was a good thing that I got my license before I got a shop. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, I was young. No, yeah. It, a lot and of these I places, had my boy just keep pushing me. Whether Shout you want to attack, work for you know? someone or just not, even if you want to go work for a big barbershop, not, the majority of them be like, you need to be licensed. Yeah. They're yeah, not going to even let you come in. You'll lose some friendship for exactly. that. Like, hey, bro. And it's like, no, bro, it's no hard feeling. Mm -hmm. And now, just, and now, like, we're when trying, it comes to We're not even just because the city's going to come fall on us. We're trying to look out for you. We're going to make, we're building a team. We're going to show you, and we want you to succeed. If you want to if you want to open a barbershop, you got to have your be licensed so it's just that like little things like that that like great like you said great barbers skill set are crazy but if, if you want to have your own barbershop the city's going to come through everyone needs to be licensed yeah. everyone so it's just little things it's like a lot of other things like you know a lot of things in life that you're like i don't really want to do it but it's like you have to take the time make the little investment you know what i mean it's 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 worth it yeah definitely it's worth definitely it. worth it um you'll uh you'll, you'll value it so much more like i said and 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 no, you ain't going to be like, fuck, I'm going to work at the shop. It's like, you, you know, it's like, you it's don't don't sin papeles, bro. You know, you're going to always look over your shoulder. Yeah. Like, like, anything, you know? estás, estás you legit. Once you hit an adult, a certain age, 21, you're like, I want to be legit. Once you do it, you feel relieved. You feel, you know, yeah. yeah. Accomplishment. Yeah, I got, when I got my license, uh, you guys, I don't know. I was so nervous to test. I failed my first uh, written test. I passed it on the second by one question, but I remember my drop my mannequin. I don't know if you guys remember you guys' test, but I dropped my mannequin. I picked it up. I was like, what do I do? I just sprayed it off with disinfectant. And, <laughs> like, if you would have dropped your client, I'm going to spray it with disinfectant, huh? <laughs> I, I, failed, uh, I failed my practical the first go around. Uh, pa passed it the second one and then passed the, the I failed the written a bunch of times. Yeah, that, that's hard. Practical the first hard. time but, I was... You go to school. I mean, you got to get it. Mm -hmm. Any any last tip or advice before we finish up? Anything that you guys want to that would recommend um, for anyone getting started? Anyone getting going? Stay motivated, bro. Don't give up. It's hard. It's hard being that barber that you sit in the chair and wait. You don't have clientele. And you're just sitting there waiting for a walk in. It's hard, but it's doable. Got to go through it. Put in the work. I think. Put, put in the work. It, yeah. Um, Social media has opened a lot of doors oh, yeah, for a lot for of people. Sure. Yeah. I think I think uh, uh, if you're if you're a new barber and you're working at a shop and you're trying to get busy, promote yourself. I used to spam my homies, everybody on my social media. I used to hit them up, message them like, "Yo, hit me up. I'm I'm cutting hair over here. Yo, hit me up." A lot of people didn't answer my messages. They never opened them. They, op they, op them, they opened them ten ten. Literally, bro, 10 years later, they opened up, they opened up the same message and be like, yo, can you get me in? Be like, yeah, bro, yeah. here's my link. Holla yeah. at me. Yeah. Change. No, but, for but, sure. That's one big thing. Yeah. But definitely promote Marketing. yourself. Yeah, Market promote yourself. yourself. Yeah. Marketing. Yeah. Every day you see me on my Instagram, dude, you'll see if you start following me. You know, I didn't know. I barely met you guys. Pleasure. But I post every day, dude. Everybody's out eating at a club, at a coffee shop, anywhere. Yeah, use what you, you see got. see the haircut? Oh, shoot. I have a wedding next week. Let me hit her up. Oh, shoot. I have this coming up. Also, find find somebody find somebody that's, you know, like 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 minded individuals. So the people that you, you're like, oh, these barbers are doing it. Go follow them. I, I, exactly. like, I hope my doors are open. Anybody who ever wants to come to the shop and, and like wants to learn, come and shadow. Every one of my barbers oh, yeah. are cool with that. Come and watch. Come and learn some stuff. And we'll, I'll teach you everything I know. You know, exactly. and, yeah. no so, charge. Like, yeah. I have a bunch yeah. of little clients that I've been teaching and they're pushing themselves and they want to go to barber school and they call me and they look up to me and come hang out. And, and when I you come over, you got to sweep up the shop, guys. There you go. Right. George, one piece of advice. Um, yeah, just to stick with it, man. It, it does get tough. Uh, you know, coming out of school, there was days I didn't get one cut. You know, long but, days. Yeah, just yeah, stick with it, man. Stick with it. It gets tough, but stay, holding eight dollar signs outside, eight dollar Tuesdays. There you and go. like Eddie said, you know, with the social media now, just just blast everybody. You know, do what you can on your end, but just stick with it, man. Julian. Biggest tip of advice. You're the newest one. What, yeah. What's the biggest? I think I think the main one. Guns. I feel like um, because the same thing. Like I I started you know when I was in high school through a program you know and uh, I this year was the first year I actually had my own uh, you know high schoolers that was teaching how to fade and all this stuff and um, to them like the main thing was like I was always telling them was like don't be scared to cut like one of the main things that I see with like. When like with them at least is like they're scared to make those bigger guidelines. They're scared to go in with their line. They're scared. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're scared. I feel like just going confident. Like you're gonna mess up. Like no matter what, no matter how how good you think you're gonna be or whatever, how many videos we watch, you're gonna mess up and you're gonna keep gonna messing happen, up. Yeah. And it's just like 
Part you just game. you just kind of got to do it. Like that's the main thing. I feel like at, at the end of the day, it's just. But you have to fail to be successful. That's for oh sure. yeah, and that's with anything. You know, that's with anything. So yeah. it's just like facts. You know, just stay committed. All right, y'all. Well, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for uh, having us, bro. Yeah, Shout out to you your, your uh, Instagram Supreme's where we can find you. Shop on 38th and Low, um, Yachty Fight 27, or Supreme's Barbershop Inc. on Instagram. Shout out. Oh, well, just my Instagram is uh, Juju underscore the barber on. And uh, yeah, just follow me. Yeah. Uh, you can find me uh, Peluquero Vaquero or uh, Afilado Barbershop, either one of those. Yep. Yeah, Eddie A. Barber on the ground, Barba Denver. And uh, yeah, shout out to all the barbers and everybody's trying to get it. Keep pushing, guys. Shout, shout out, out to, to all the, the homies. Shout out to the team. Yo, shout out everybody. Shout out to Spinglish for the podcast. Hey, uh, hey, shout hey, out. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Did y'all know how now used to pay him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This guy's a barber. He's a good George. Yeah. And George is there. Yeah. 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 George, he used yeah. to cut yeah. my hair. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. Crazy. That's full circle. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's, right that's the beauty. Next oh, yeah, one, we're going to have y'all on. I'll have all y'all going on the wigs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. Appreciate y'all.